Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 5th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want our full technical analysis. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And uh, as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit in the uh, trading session today taking in the for the us dollar index are all turning around except the macd that is still lagging a bit but it still is turning around stochastic has crossed the signal line the cci has crossed it's becoming bearish and so is rsi we did hit the top of the bullish band here yesterday and today we really fell apart at this current stage we will most likely find um, support down here at the 20 expansion moving average we have done this basically before we have rallied outside of the bullish band and then broken down all the way down to the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band before rallying. So it looks like we are still continuing this uptrend. We got fairly overstretched here and a pullback after hitting the top of the bullish band is usually um, very common. And uh, we usually fall towards the, the middle of the bullish band. In worst case scenario, you'll fall towards the 50 moving average here at 91.25. 200 moving average is also right here at the 92.51, and that will most likely also offer quite a lot of support. So let's look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So as the US dollar weakened today, the then this currency pair basically started to rally, and we rallied up towards the 50 moving average, uh, 50 moving average right here, and we're trading at the 13, uh, 1383. And at the moment, it just looks like a very bullish candlestick. Uh, we don't have a pullback uh, whatsoever at the end of the session. And if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we could head towards these previous highs here at 14.00. Taking indicators are all turning around for um, this currency pair. So as long as the US dollar continues to depreciate, which we probably will do for the next few trading days, then we may see this uh, um, currency pair rally to the upside so a breakdown from here we'll find major support down here at the bottom of the bullish band around the 13 13 67 so let's look at the us dollar japanese yen so us dollar japanese yen we are way outside of the bullish band here and it looks like we have a little bit of a pullback but it's not significant Taking it indicators otherwise are slowly turning around. This is getting way over um, overstretched, and um, a pullback from here is uh, would not be strange. This, if you look right here, what basically happened here, we can see that we traded sideways in towards the uh, 20, 20 expansion moving average in the middle of the bullish band before going higher. Here as well, we pulled back to the middle. Here we pulled back to the middle, and so on. So usually, when you get outside of the bullish band when for this currency pair it usually pulls back towards the middle and then continues higher we are in uptrend we're getting fairly parabolical here so a pullback is expected at this current stage so let's look at the euro us dollar so euro us dollar as well as the us dollar started to depreciate today we see this rally towards the upside we have a crossing here at the 20 uh, moving 20 exponential moving average and the uh, uh, 200 moving average and uh, that should uh, be bearish but due to the fact that the us dollar is depreciated today that basically worked against this uh, currency pair so it started to rally technical indicators are all turning around they're still in bearish territory we're still in uh, this uh, downtrend but um, at this current stage we are basically rallying in this in this downtrend so rallies towards the 20 exponential you can see it here and here they have been sold into so rallied up towards 1186 that it will most likely offer significant resistance and most likely buyers will come back sellers will come back in here and short this to the downside so look at aussie dollar us dollar so Aussie dollar, US dollar, as you can see, we hit the bottom right here at the 0.75 and then we basically rallied. So we had this bullish hammer here. Technical indicators, they are either flat or becoming, um, well, basically flat, if you say it like that. 
The RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, uh, still in uh, bearish territory. Stochastic is flat and the MACD is still bearish at this point. So this is a bullish candlestick. We could see this rally up towards the 20 exponential uh, at the 0 0.76 or the 50 at 0 0.77 uh, before breaking down again. So the 50 and 20 have been holding quite significantly resistant in the past and it will most likely also happen in the future. If the US dollar uh, falls significantly, then we may see this rally even further. But at this point, it seems like the US dollar is only depreciating slightly because it has been overstretched and overbought. So let's look at the US dollar Canadian dollar. So US dollar Canadian dollar, we see um, basically we rallied and then we broke down quite significantly. So at this point, if we break below the 20 exponential, then we will most likely will head towards the bottom here at 1241.3. Technical indicators are all turning around for this currency pair. So this is just more of the same. We can see it here, rally towards the 50, break down, rally towards the 50, break down. And now most likely it will break down again towards the 1241. Break above the 50 moving average, well, that could head all the way up towards the 200 moving average up here at 1301. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And if you want a full technical analysis, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.